Toronto is a big place, but it's also crowded. There are many huge historic landmarks to visit, and it can also be a dark and sketchy place sometimes. But it doesn't change the amazing experience that I had going to the Toronto International Film Festival for the very first time this year. I knew there would be traffic, I knew I wouldn't get the best seats in the house, and I knew that I'd be lucky if I'd get to see even a glimpse of a major celebrity, let alone get close enough to take an actual picture. But no matter whether you have no proof whatsoever, or the proof that you do have is just shitty quality, it doesn't change the fact that you can honestly say that you were there and that you saw something amazing, regardless of how good the movie was. Even with a movie as disappointing as The Predator, was it cool to hear Shane Black talk about it? Yeah, it was. I knew there'd be a long way in line with people that I probably couldn't stand to hear behind my back. But I also met just as many, if not more, who shared my love of cinema and were willing to go on about it forever. I got to see grown men cry like little babies when they were watching a Steve Carell drama. And even more surprising, Melissa McCarthy doing any drama. I participated in a trivia booth and had the privilege of winning a chip clip, a bag of chips that I never got to eat, and a banana. I got to go sightseeing, I got to see the Canada Walk of Fame, the Ripley's Aquarium, get a very good glimpse of the CN Tower from a distance, Met a couple girls who were a little tipsy, but hey, whatever does it for you. But more importantly, I got to see seven different films with massive audiences full of cinephiles who shared the exact same passion as I did. We didn't go to see celebrities or gossip about what they're going to do next. We came to appreciate the incredible amount of effort that went into the craft of filmmaking. And whether or not the movie was good or bad, it was still an amazing experience to sit in a theater full of 2,500 other people without the same problems that you would have going to any other average cinema. No people on their cell phones, no talking throughout the entire damn thing, even applauding for the volunteers who are working their ass off to make sure we have a good time, as well as giving any other movie a round of applause regardless of whether they thought it was good. Going to TIFF made me confident in the fact that there were many other people like me who shared as big of a passion for film as I did, something I rarely get to see when going to an average cinema. I obviously have a small circle of friends who share this passion, but you can only get into very intimate and passionate conversations about things like these all so often. And the fact that this is an annual thing makes the event even more special. Because no matter how many dangers or pet peeves that may come across with it, if you wait long enough, you get to see something big, beautiful, and memorable. <laughs>